Flavius. That's how it goes, bro. When you first figure out, not figure out, when I was about 16, when you first figure out there's this thing called meditation, I was like, hmm, sounds pretty interesting. It is fucking not interesting. That's what it's really not. So, like, you get your meditation book, or you ask somebody, or whatever. However it goes about, this is the first thing that some dumb motherfucker is going to try to tell you. They're going to say, I want you to think about nothing. And you're going to sit there, and you're going to try like a motherfucker to think about nothing. And it's going to give you a fucking headache, bro, because as soon as you get your mind blank, everything's going to rush in on you. At least, if you're anything like me, that's how it's going to go. <clears throat> but thankfully, there's more than one kind of meditation. But most people give up when they get to, I don't know how to think about nothing. <clears throat> there's two methods, in my opinion. There's the think about nothing, and there's the anchor strategy. The anchor strategy is where you come up with a thought, or a mantra, or a picture, or an image, or something that you don't mind So, instead of thinking about nothing, which is a really fucking tall order, I'm going to think about my breathing. So, I think about the air going in, and I think about the air going out. And I imagine a bunch of little me's being in there, and, and the air is me, and the me's are going in my nose, I'm becoming the air. And while you're focusing on that, you're just having a good time on your little breathing roller coaster ride. Then you actually stop thinking about all of those things that bring you stress in your life. And you got to understand that every two hours of meditation is worth eight hours of sleep. Like you get that much more rest when you meditate as opposed to when you sleep. And as a matter of fact, the American soldiers in World War I meditated instead of slept in the trench warfare. That was how they, they couldn't ha they couldn't they had to pull so many watches that they couldn't afford real sleep. So they all took shifts, two hours of meditation a night for each soldier instead of sleep. And that is because your brain is actually more active when you're asleep than when you're awake because your subconscious and your conscious is all just mashing together. But when you focus on something other than your stressful fucking life, like your breathing, like your life itself, because you realize that if you are your breathing, that everything else is fucking horseshit, and that you are not your body, and that you are not anything but space and air, is what it's really gonna boil down to. And when you fucking die, from this body, guess what, brother? You're gonna go back to being space and air. So when you focus on the breathing, you're actually, uh, you're coming into your true resonance. <clears throat> and there's a whole different topic called the pineal gland, but the pineal gland is in the middle of your brain. And in the middle of your brain, around the pineal gland is a little space. And that space is called the cave of Brahma, or the cave of God. And uh, there's a lot of teaching that would suggest that that little space is actually you operating the body. And that leads into how you can be you and God at the same time. But that's a whole different subject. But when you're meditating, all you do is you pick an anchoring mechanism. It can be a candle. You take a candle and you light it and you look at the flame, you close your eyes and you picture the flame. And all you picture is the flame. And the act of picturing the flame and focusing on the flame cancels all the other shit out. And it allows you to have more rest than you would if you just tried to freestyle. <clears throat> and that's how you meditate on the real. <clears throat>